Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Cymatic Kernel. In this video, I am going to focus on how to connect local LLM model. Let us start how to implement this feature. The first step, you have to go to the LLM studio and download the software based on your operating system. I used Windows operating system, so I download the Windows package version. Once the package has been installed, go to LLM studio. Here there are different types of model available. I am going to use the Microsoft PHA2 model. So if you go to the search option here, you can search this PHA2. You have to select that model here. Here I cho choose this PH2. And first you have to install the model in your local PC. I choose this PHA2 Q4KS package. So this model has been installed on my PC. The next step, you have the option to interact with the model. If you go to the chat window, if you want, you can specify the system model behavior. Here I specified as a history assistant. So I just send the message information about Chennai. So it's provide some information. For example, no about like Tanjavur here you can see the processing at the moment and we get some information about this Tanjavur city so just stop generating this option so if you want to connect this model you have to start the server that is here you can see the local server option once you go there you have to start the server there are some sample code has been provided based on the Python here. So if, if you want directly use the OpenAI client, you can just copy paste this code into your IDE. For example, if you are using Visual Studio Code IDE, you can just copy paste and it will work. So this is a local host URL. And API key is not needed. That's what they provided here, not needed. So before connecting the server, first we have to start the server. So use this option to start server. The server has been started. Here you can see the URL. So this is a chat completion and this is a completion mo URL model and this is a model URL. Fine. So now our local server is running at the moment. The next step, we are going to connect this model via semantic kernel. The next step, we go to Visual Studio and we write simple application to connect this server. So go to the Visual Studio. Here I have created a new project called a Local LLM Demo Program DRCS file. I just create kernel builder and here I created the prompt configuration and I created the prompt history about information about Chennai. I passed my prompt settings. Call this invoke async function, get the result. So this is a base code. Now we have to connect to the local model. For that, here I am going to call add Azure OpenAI chat completion. So the first parameter deployment name, deployment name not required because here we, don't, we did not use any deployment. We are connecting to the local host. So deployment information not required and the AP key also is not needed. So the deployment, the first parameter I just mentioned local model. So just this is a dummy information. So local model. The second argument is an endpoint. So the endpoint we have to get from the local server. If you go to the local server, this is a base URL. But we have to connect the this URL, chat completion. This URL is needed. This is our local endpoint. Because here we use the chat completion, the chat completion URL, this one. So I copied this one, I paste it. The third argument is the API key. API key is not required. So I just mentioned it's not required like this. All are dummy. That's it. So we'll start the application. 
some exception to go to the local server here we try to connect but the endpoint here you can see unexpected endpoint for method so there are different endpoint is coming we have to connect this endpoint but kernel try to connect with a different endpoint that is a problem so if we fix this issue then we can able to connect the local server so stop the application go back to this add azure open a chat completion here you can notice there is a one parameter called http client so we have to use this http client to connect the local server so here i create the http client http client equal to this is client and new of HTTP client. So here I set the endpoint client dot base address. So this is my endpoint. Here I pass this information. So HTTP client for the client. All set. Now we run the application again. Again, exception. If you go to the server, again the endpoint is not changed. So, seems to be the old endpoint is coming. To fix this issue, what we have to do, we have to write the handler function. So, here if HTTP client, you can see there is an option called HTTP message handler. So, we have to write the handler function to capture the send functionality and we assign the URL again back. For that, I'm going to write one simple class. So here, I write the class public class local host server. So I just mentioned local host server, my class name, and this should be derived in the HTTP client handler. Protected override. This function, send async function. I put the breakpoint here, the first step, and I pass this to here, new localhost server. That's it. I put one more breakpoint here. We start the application. So we override the function. So this function get invoked sent async function. If you go to the request, just go to quick watch. Request URI, here you can see the request URI. It's coming like this. I just copy here. I paste it. This added some up and some more information in this URL. We need only here this URL we need not other information is not required for us. So we have to override this URI. So I stop the application. Here I write the primary constructor URL so private read only URI. So URI equal to new of this URL we have to pass. Once it's ready, here we have to override. So request dot request URI, this URI assigned. So I remove this breakpoint here and I have to pass this information for this class. So this not needed, I just pass it. Start the application. So if you go to the server, here you can see it's generating the response for us. So we send the information history about Chennai here. You can see the message and now it's generating the information for us. I assigned uh, the token 100. Hopefully it will start in the 100. 
so token almost it's reached 100 yeah so print the result here we can see the information about chennai so this is a example how to connect your local llm model so if you want to use streaming also is possible so instead of invoke we have to call the streaming so what i'm going to do i'm just comment this two two line here i write the function so where response equal to kernel builder dot invoke streaming async here we have to pass our prompt so prompt is a kernel function so wait for each where item in response console dot write so print the item that's it so all set we restart the application so it's printing the reset this is a simple example how to connect your local llm model